Hey everybody, welcome back to maybe the end? Maybe? Maybe the end of the last Iceland? Perhaps, it's possible. We had some stolen rations, 20 rations disappeared. Very interesting. We're actually, we're set for rations, I believe. Um, am I set for everything else though? That's the real question. That, I, that I'm not 100% convinced of. We have no, nothing in the Book of Laws that we can sign that's not going to cause immediate issues with discontent. I'm only running six overtime work situations right now. There's some other temporary modifiers with those emergency shifts and disputes about supplies. Everything else is like, whatever, dude. Bad food, I don't care. Actually, you know what? Maybe I do care now. Maybe I, maybe I can just make good food. Yeah, maybe we can just make good food. I wish we could tab through to find the uh, the cookhouses there. I always struggle with finding which one that is. I need people there. Man, like, where is it? Those are my hot houses. I will find you. There you are. Okay. So we're going to go standard meals now. Standard meals. That's fine. Also, these don't need to be on extra hours. So I can turn those off as well. Now it's freaking chilly. Okay. So all of these medical posts. So we're running at top level steam right now. All the medical posts need the individual heating. That one seems fine. It's interesting to me how many things are... ...so behind. In terms of technology. Must be at least chilly. Okay. I mean, I guess we still want these working. It's just... I'm concerned how much that's going to cut into our... consumption. Now, when this other automaton is done, I'm probably going to put him on, like, the uh, kiln as fast as I can. This I can actually turn off. That one's pretty hot as well. That kiln will keep on. Discontent will fall. Thank you. Good job. Let's find my prayer district. Discontent will fall. We'll have a little sermon. Nighttime procession as well. Keep that under control. Now it's going to drop to 90. Minus 90. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to this. We will have overdrive available. But like now we're at now we're at a loss. What's the best possible thing I could do to fix that in the time allotted? Burn more wood perhaps? Just burn all the wood. I have no other spots for coal mines. I could do like, um, I could do coal thumpers, but I feel like that's late too. And then I have to set up gathering posts. So that's probably not a great, probably not a great option.
So I think this is where we just have to buckle down and hope for the best. I got 12 hours left. I don't think I'm going to be able to research what I need to research. I'll try. I do have an automaton available. Kilns. Kilns. Um. I'm just trying to think. Coal mine, I guess, right? Just get the automatons there full time. Ten people died? Yikers. Yikers. Hopefully there were ten unemployed, because I... Okay, they weren't. <laughs> they were not. Look, it's out of my hands now, I think. I think we just ride it to the end here. See what happens. Five hours in the storm. I do wonder if having this law now... Like, is this a, is this a thing where I'm like, yee. We'll find out. Discontent will fall. Captain's orders. Evening prayers. Okay. So some of those deaths are now kicking in during the workday. So now what? Everyone just dies? Can I run the overdrive? Is that the right decision? The storm has hit the city. The city must survive. The soil in the hothouses will freeze. We have to make do with the food we've stockpiled. Yep. So now, does this mean... Okay. I'm just going to turn these all off. Maybe I could have done this a little bit longer ago, but, like, I don't know how much we can trust how much food we need either, so it's kind of a weird situation. Okay, so those are all off. The infirmary stuff I should try to keep on, I suppose. Um, public house. I'm going to turn that off. That does raise discontent, but I mean, guys, this is, this is, we have bigger problems. Care house on. Hope will fall with each dead. Okay, that's not bad. Discontent will rise. But also, I don't know if that really matters right now. Factory is off. Um, we're going to turn off the workshops. Okay. Like, are people still going out to work? Work starts. So, yes, they are. 
So what are my non-essentials? I will, I'll run, I'll run coal mines until I can't. Steam Steelworks, I won't run. Maybe the workshops, we will run. See if that's a possibility. Wall drills run. Okay. Let's try and get all of these things filled. I'll just run the game on slow here. Oh my god, am I concerned. Some of you guys who have experience in this, you're probably like, yeah, you're dead or you're fine. Like, you probably can tell the outcome. I can't. Like, is this possible for me to get a, a higher amount of coal or steam? Like, I only have I only have 17 hours of coal left. <sighs> um. Maybe what we do is turn off our wall drills, turn off our sawmills. Steel's off. Hunter's off, although it doesn't really matter. Food, I think food's fine. I wish it would have told me how much coal I needed. That's that would have been really nice. Hmm. Let's take one look through this list. Sorry. Uh in here. The kilns I'm going to keep running. House of healing, yes. Cookhouse off. Gathering post off. Medical post on. We'll keep those on. Medical post on. Good. Care house. Cook house off. Hot house off. Public house. Off. And then, like, some of these... I guess if they're hitting bunkhouses, like, keep them on. This can be off. We want these running. Okay. Okay. Cookhouse off. This is helping the infirmary there. Let's turn that off. Okay, this is also hitting the. Oh, it's not actually. Okay. This one can be turned off, I think. What's this? Yeah. Turn this off. Bunkhouse. <sighs> I don't know, man.
Like, so many people are gonna die, right? But, like, what's my lose condition now? How many people do I need to survive with? That, I actually, I don't know. Let's check our houses of prayer. Nothing I can do there. It's too cold. I can try this. Generator power. Some supplies recovered there. As far as I can see, we're just holding on now. Okay, so this is good. Like, during the day, we're building up a nice surplus. So, maybe we're going to be fine from that regard, but, like, people will be dying. People are dying. Yep. People be dying. These places, I hate to say it, but... You need to get out there and work. Let's do uh, public penance here for the discontent. And these places, surprisingly, I'll actually throw on the overdrive here. There's nothing else I can sign in here. We're throwing in the overdrive to get the hospitals heated. The infirmary is too far. Even if I build a st well. Okay. Man. The Faith Keepers disobey you? Hold on for a couple of days? Yeah. Like, I'm trying. So even on Overdrive, this isn't working. I need this... Re if this research could kick in, that would be something. Here it is. So now... Turn off the workshops, I guess. Right? Look to our... Sermon. Evening prayers. Captain's words. And what else? Okay, we, we lowered discontent rapidly, actually. And ceremonial service. This raises everything by two. We shut down the steel, but I'm wondering now if I should maybe turn that on. Just to finish that last thing. Man, it's so hard to see what I'm looking for. Okay. So based on that, if I take overdrive couplings here... Then, temperatures go up by two with, when it's in overdrive. Which it currently is. I'm going to turn that off for right now. And then, we'll turn these back on. Go here. 
turn the other ones on, see if they can knock that out. Yeah, I mean, they're freezing at home. Like, what am I supposed to do, you know? I am going to try to run this overdrive every once in a while. Because if they, you can see, like, that's not cutting it. Heaters aren't cutting it there. Um... Infirmary checklists, okay. Mechanization, employ fewer people. This this would have been really nice to have. Do I just say F the sick? People die in the street. I'll open an infirmary. I can hit that. Could use triage to heal most of them, but many would die. I'm just going to disperse the crowd. Discontent can fall. Not by a lot. And then I'll trigger this to hit to get those infirmaries. Oh, does it actually want me to build a new one? Yes. Yes, it does. Can I get anywhere close to a street? Yes. Okay, I'm going to turn off this now. I realize how problematic that is, but... I mean... What else can I do? People are freezing. I'm going to throw this in. Turn this on. Turn this on. So, okay, so that didn't lower discontent, but fair enough. Now I'm going to shut that back off. I don't know what else to do other than just beeline it for the end here. I can look through my prayers and stuff. Nighttime procession I can run. Darkness before dawn. Stay strong, people. Stay strong. Tip from a believer. Discontent will fall. Thank you. Come on, baby. I'm concerned. I'm concerned about our consumption. But look, I mean, what's going to happen here, right? At some point, I'm going to run out. I either keep people colder or I run out of steam. In both situations, they're going to be cold. <laughs> so, yeah. Generator stress will increase 25% slower and fall faster. I'll take it. People refuse to work. This facility will stop at this workshop. Ah, eh, that's fine. Whoa, what was that about? That was glitchy. <laughs> I love how overtime work is still a problem for people. <laughs> People are just fallen, man. I got 378. I'm going to overdrive a bit. And 
nighttime procession for discontent, but that's not going to last long. Turning off the overdrive. Rest in peace, Frozen family. Look at this. I see sunlight. It's all the music. Come on. Zero hours left. Generator shutting down. It's fighting. It's fighting. Let's let him stay home. Okay. So overdrive's a little safer now. Man, we are close. People are furious. Two days, guys. Two days. Give me two days. Stay home. Give me till morning. What's happening? Work ceases. Yeah, that's fine. Just hold on. Stay with me. It's insanely cold, guys. Run the overdrive. Does overdrive not actually use any more extra, like, extra coal. Cause that's kind of working. Yeah, see, if I go there, it's a little too much. So let's just run it here, overdrive. Oh! Let's go! We're thawing! Oh my god. Oh my god. Bad at politics. Keep every promise made during a playthrough. Nice. There's a, a bunch of achievements just popped. Holy frick! Now, okay, we did. We okay. I'm I'm stoked. Don't 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 get me wrong. Very happy. However, um, this is cool. However, um, the degree to to which we survived is questionable. Like we had so many deaths, right? The question is, if you just survive, is that a win? There's so many things I would I would do differently here in terms of planning out my upgrades. Um, the bigger issue that I had, and 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 actually, ultimately, we had enough coal. We did get through with the generator shutting down at the end, but I could have I could have stockpiled significantly more coal had I planned a little bit differently. Trees I had a lot of, but we were using that for coal later, so that was nice. Um, food, we ended up having way more than enough, and that was a big panic of mine earlier. Um, I think the, the faith definitely helped us in a lot of regards. Being able to just reduce discontent, because that's, that's an auto game lose, right? If your discontent gets too high, you lose. So we don't want that either. We did go a little bit crazy with the whole faith tyrant thing but the city survived that's what matters was it worth it i'd say so are you guys satisfied are you satisfied are you not entertained <laughs> just losing my freaking mind here 140 souls yikes that is not a lot of souls that is not a lot of souls but i'm pretty happy because this game is punishing and that was that difficulty really felt rough i don't know how people do it on extreme you got to really min max and know exactly what you're doing. Exactly what you're doing. Okay, so it looks like we've now unlocked everything else. Okay? So, I'm curious. If you go into, like, the arcs, what, is this, what does this do? 
Brightest Minds of Oxford and Cambridge, we've been sent to save priceless seed and plant specimens from the eternal winter. Do we have what it takes to keep the seedling arcs safe? So these are different, like, win scenarios, maybe? Can we accept everyone who comes to seek shelter? Built our city, survived the long winter. Now we have to fight against time to save it and our lives from impending doom. The last autumn and on edge. Yeah, I'm not sure how these play out, but hey, if you guys want to see more, I would be down to go through these scenarios. I'm not sure, actually, as of the time of recording this, how overall viewership is. I think for an old game, it's not terrible. Um, but we have a bunch of other stuff to coming up in the next few weeks. So the the Paradise Pound or the Pacific Pounder is going to make a return in uh, the what is it Pacific. I, I always mess up the name, like Pacific Drive or Pacific Overdrive. You know which game I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, anyways, this is, what a freaking blast. This gets me super pumped for Frostpunk 2. And I would love to get into some of these additional scenarios if, um, if you guys are watching. So we'll see how that goes. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a good time. Let me know what you would have done differently in these last couple of episodes to make our end a little bit better based on where we were, like... Going back to change things at the beginning, I can't obviously do. Um, but I'd be very curious just to improve on that aspect. Have a good one, guys. Really appreciate you. Bye for now.